Hey YouTubers, Dave Kingsbury. Uh, I haven't been around in a while. Um, kind of, uh, I can explain a little bit. I know I haven't even been commenting on your videos and stuff, but uh, I'm going through a little bit of a transition period. And although uh, change is good, it's not always easy for everybody involved. And uh, you know, I've just been kind of sidetracked. I'm still watching all your videos and participating mentally watching you guys and see what's going on but like I say I haven't been been really able to get involved with uh, everything that's going on because I just haven't been myself I'm noticing a lot lately that I've had a lot of requests for people's computers are overheating on them shutting down doing sporadic things and stuff so I'm gonna uh, have one of my subscribers ask me to show them how to take take the cover off his computer so he could go in and clean the fans and uh, you'll notice if if you get dirt built up on the side of your fans on the fan blades they just they don't pull air like they should and then the the heat sink on your behind your fan gets clogged up with dust so the the two you know the fans not blowing air the heat sinks not pulling heat away from your component and the two together, you're, you're going to overheat and the computer gets too hot, it shuts down. One of my subscribers, RuneScape, his name is Brian, asked me to uh, help him out with this overheating problem. So I'm going to, Brian, uh, sorry to make you wait so long, but it's been uh, pretty hectic lately. And uh, tell your mom this is totally safe and I'm going to show you how, to, how easy it is. And take the little paintbrush and clean it up and, and uh, that'll eliminate your heat problem. And you'll be fine. Uh, don't worry about it, you can do it. Okay, we got the two screws in the back. I've taken mine out, but usually sit right here. I've only got one screw in the center because I take it off once in a while. But you've got your side plate, you take your cover, your screws out. Okay, sometimes the side cover is hard to get off. This one's actually pretty easy. I just pull on it and it opens. See how it slides back. Sometimes you got to lay it down on its side and kind of hit on it like that at the same time you push back and it'll open for you. Oh. This one's laying on its side. Um, this is a compact so it's got where you just kind of pop it loose and then lift up on the cover and slide it back but either way that cover comes off pretty easy okay, you can see inside this is pretty dirty you can see how the dust gets built up on the cooling fans you want to take your brush and clean off the blades of the fan You don't have to push very hard to get the dust off. If you clean all this off, it's going to let the air flow a lot better and you're going to stop the overheating problem. So you just kind of get that dust off of the blades. Even when you get that can of air and blow this out, it's, it's probably not going to take the, uh, clean the edges of the blade. So you want to take a paintbrush, just a soft paintbrush, and clean the edges. That's your heat sink. You can see how it gets all filled up with dust. I mean, I just cleaned it a little bit so it's not too bad, but that gets really packed sometimes. And that's what your heat sink is, and that's your cooling fan for the CPU. That's your cooling fan for the power supply. And that's where you're going to need a can of air or an air compressor to clean that heat sink real good. But take the brush and clean off around your memory, too. It's the memory sticks. Just look around the motherboard and see all the dust that's built up. And try to brush it away a little bit. And it'll be a, it'll run a lot cooler. Giles, man, I want to uh, thanks for putting that video out. Uh, it was my pleasure, man, to, to send you that stuff I did. Um, I wanted to send you something you needed. And uh, um, take care of Snuckles, and I'm glad you. Uh, 
is showing respect for Snuckles like other than you did your, your other animal. You know, that was, that was good. So I'm sure he'll appreciate that. He would have been really mad at me if I sent him into that environment, you know. He just said, no, Dave, what did you do to me? So take care of him. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I could tell it was really hard for you to put that video out, and that was, that was really cool. But uh, it, was, it was truly something uh, that we all wanted to do for you. And, uh, you know, it was really great to, to see the video thank you come out. Uh, and it's always, when, you know, when you do things for other people, you do it out of the kindness in your heart. You don't expect things back. But uh, it's always appreciated when the thank you does come back. You know, we, we enjoyed doing it for you. Well, hey, Lisa, thanks for putting that all together. It was a great idea. And uh, couldn't be more happy to, to be a part of it. Uh, I hope everything's going well for you and everything's working out. And, you know, we come into this world to... I mean, we're all here playing our part in the life role. And uh, in the YouTube community, we're... Um, banding together and, and experiencing things and don't ever feel like you have to go through something alone because you've got a YouTube community and uh, we consider you part of the family and, uh, and thanks for sharing stuff with us so we can be a part of it with you and go through it with you. There's one thing I wanted to mention since I haven't been on it so long. Um, kind of leave a comment down here in the comment section and let me know why you're subscribed to my videos. Um, is it for the tutorials that I do or the, the life experiences and stuff that I talk about? Because I'm thinking about creating another channel and segregating you know, my video responses and just the general uh, life things that I talk about as compared to my tutorials in uh, um, you know, because a lot of people say you're not supposed to mix your venues, because I really don't want to know why you subscribe, and I don't know what video brought you in as a subscriber. So if you could do me a favor and let me know what your interest is in this channel, then I won't, you know, if you're interested in the tutorials, then I won't bore you with the other life responses and or the other life stuff and video responses. And if you're interested in that, then I won't bore you with the tutorials. And actually, I already have another username that I haven't brought out there yet. It's Collective Mind. Um, I'll give you an insight about what that channel's all about. Um, but I haven't posted any videos there yet. But uh, as soon as I do, I'll put a link up in my videos and let you guys know about that, what's going on, and what kind of uh, uh, content I'm going to have in there. But I do like to talk about the spiritual stuff and, uh, you know, I tend to be a little bit of a deep thinker and uh, confuse myself sometimes, so uh, I'll talk about that kind of stuff and you guys can kind of clarify things for me. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. I uh, hope you're having a great weekend. And uh, when I get back in the swing of things, I'll be coming out with some more interesting stuff and uh, I've got a lot of requests that I have to catch up on. I'm probably about eight videos behind in my schedule uh, for you know I want to make some tutorials about Firefox and and other stuff like that and I've got some life things I want to talk about and I'm gonna put those I think I'm gonna put those on my other channel Collective Mind and uh, as soon as I do I'll let you guys know where to find that and uh, let me know why you're subscribed so I can uh, better meet your needs. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.